This video is going to detail some of the important matters to consider when updating your Audit Advanced Mercia Company Audit Engagement file using the version 20.004 template released in winter 2020. We've provided a number of resources to help you understand the impact of these changes. When we first received the update from Mercia in November, we sent out an email detailing the impact of the changes on your engagement files. And you can find this on our knowledge base under Article 4230. And this is particularly important if you've had to start your planning on your December 2020 year-end files. It details there what will happen to each individual document and therefore where some work may need to be re-performed potentially. We also provide a page with update information for each template release. So Article 3349 is the one that we use for Audit Advanced Mercia Company Audit Version 20 uh, templates and that is to be updated for version 20.004 when it's released and you will find on there the release notes for this particular update, the interactive update guide which is there uh, throughout on our, our knowledge base for a general way of uh, informing you how to do your updates but then also specific notes on each release that are on there. So this video will address the particular issues arising out of the conversion from a version 20.003 to version 20.004 um, engagement file. And those can be found uh, there on the knowledge base. And so the three main things to look out for here, um, we're going to be considering some update issues. These are for periods where periods are commencing before the 15th of December 2019 also show you how to add folders and reposition some of the new documents on the document manager and also that we've had to remove some title headings from PF2-2 and show you how that is to be done. So for the first point, the, the significant changes in this update relate to the revisions of ISAs 540 and 570 on account of guesstimates and going concern respectively. The updates apply to account periods commencing on or after the 15th of December 2019, but of course they, they can be applied to early account periods if so wished. Now with the update to their audit manual, Mercia have provided a full set of working papers either side of that cutoff date. However, if you choose to take this update, you will only get the very latest versions, i.e. those which are uh, for the mandatory, mandatory requirements for those periods commencing on or after the 15th of December 2019. So you might want to consider what to do if your account period starts before the required mandated date. Well, once your template has been installed and you open up a file, so we'll open up a 20, uh, version 20003 file that is ready to be updated. This is for a September year end. You will, as usual, be prompted for the update. So this, this happens uh, whenever you up open this file. Now, of course, you can always choose not to take the updates. So if you press on, on the button for, for the notification, you get this dialog coming up, the update from template notification dialog. And in order to suppress the prompt to update each time you open up, you can always choose not to take these updates and say never. And that will stop the prompt for this cycle until the, this file gets rolled forward again. If at some stage you think, well, no, that's perhaps not what we should have done. We should actually have, have gone for it and done the update. You can always choose this check for updates, which you can find on this uh, little warning symbol at the bottom, the exclamation mark in the yellow triangle and check for updates. And you'll be given that very same template notification, in which case you can then take the updates if you so wish. Now, that advice is made on the assumption that your file is already fully up to date 
with the latest content prior to this uh, version 2004 release. If it isn't, then you need to make sure that you are already uh, up to date. Now, if you're not quite sure how far up to date you are, you can always find a document called the version document. It's sitting in the file administration control documents version folder. And when you open that file, you are then shown that which is the latest content that you have in there. So this is for a version 20.003. Now, as it happened, the 2003 update uh, didn't actually contain any updates of a statutory nature. And therefore, you can actually, as long as your file is, is up to date for content in the version 20.002 template, you should be you will be okay. Now, obviously, we always say you should be up to date with the very latest, and that is the ideal. Um, so, if you're not up to date already, then you need to update this file in an environment where the latest template is not installed before you progress. So that's those considerations if you've got a period commencing before 15th of December. So moving on to the issue of adding folders. Now what I've got here is an engagement file that has uh, one been prepared early as it were, it's been updated for the latest update. And you'll find there it's normally um, when adding new documents during the update, the system will, will generally place them in the correct place on the document manager. However, where we've got um, new folders um, and new documents within those folders, uh, because those folders can't be created automatically, these new documents get placed in a special document uh, folder of their own called new documents right at the top of the document manager. And with this update, we've got three here. We've got the B30Q master, the R and S work programs for going concern and subsequent events, respectively. And so what we're going to have to do is create new folders in the correct place on the document manager. And they're going to appear here underneath the P uh, folder, or if the P has been taken out for whatever reason, um, it will be the, the O folder. So we click on, on the correct folder. We'll go to the document tab in the toolbar, click on new and then folder. And we will create a Q accounting estimate folder. We'll continue by creating the other two folders as well. Just reorganize those. And so we've created our three. And now what we need to do is drag and drop our new files into their correct folder. It's, it's particularly important that the B30Q master gets placed in the right place because that is a, a specific place where new various versions of this B30Q which you're going to need will be placed when they are created. And once we've done that we can then go back to the new documents folder and we can delete that from the document manager so that's gone. And so our document manager is now up to date. Finally then, the PF2-2 document. Now, within this, uh, the PF2-2 document, we have what is called titles. Now, we've deleted these from the file this time round. That's because Mercy have incorporated them within actual procedures themselves, so they're no longer needed. But unfortunately, titles cannot be uh, deleted automatically but they're no longer needed. So we can just simply right click on there and select delete title 
when you're prompted, select yes. I'll do that for the four items under this, in this particular document. So those are gone now, and we're now left with a file that looks brand new. Um, just one thing to note though on this, this first procedure uh, in PF22 has had to be um, redone with a control, um, sorry, control environment. So that's a, a new procedure. As a result of that, any information you may have placed in the note row in prior years will have to be copied in from a prior year file uh, or be re-entered manually. Um, the other rows, they should be okay because these are, have just been updated, not, not had to be replaced. And the whole point is the information in those green row boxes should be preserved year on year. So please bear that in mind when you're updating your PF2-2. And that's really all we have to say now on that update process. Thank you.